day three forty. All right, welcome again. I just told you a little bit about Coder School, All right? Who here uh, knows what Coder School is? Can you raise your hand. So, one thing about this class is going to be it's going to be a little different. I want everyone to participate. So when you raise your hand, if you don't know, you do this. But you still have to raise your hand. If you know, you're not sure, you do this. Are you sure you do this? Yeah? So how long has Coder School been around? Who knows? Everyone raise your hand. Do this if you don't know. Yeah, so everyone just like, I hate you, all right? <laughs> yeah, but some people is like, yep, yeah. okay. How long? Who knows with that, okay. Great, it's a great wrong answer because you know it's only one year. Yeah, so uh, we've taught five, I uh, no, nine classes in Saigon. Our first uh, class was in iOS in August last year. Okay, and then we did um, a few more iOS, Android, Ruby, and we're teaching uh, Node.js now. Uh, in November, we're hoping to launch a um, React Native uh, class as well. So, we come to Hanoi because, you know, there's just as many people, even though they are scarier, but they are still, you know, people, and there are a lot of talent in Hanoi. Uh, it's my honor to come here uh, to teach uh, the first class, all right? So we, we actually taking Rails, right? If you're here for iOS, you're in the wrong class. This is true in, in Ho Chi Minh City, right? The, but here there's only one class, right? Uh, what is our goal? The goal is, after eight weeks, you're able to build complicated web apps and you feel like, you know, you have the ability to tackle, right? To build things fast. To build things fast, not to build fast things, right? Just like, if you need a website to let people book air tickets, bus tickets, or if you need a website to help people sell things online, and you build a school management system, you build a platform to connect people who love to share clothes, I don't know, right? Uh, or dating websites. That's the idea. So there's still a lot to cover. Uh, there's no way we can teach everything. So our trick is, our trick is this, we only see you four hours a week, right? Two hours of lecture like today and then two hours of lab, but the rest of the time is up to you. You all have full-time job or something else. If you have time, spend more time. We expect you to spend between 10 hours to 20 hours. It's okay to spend more. But, uh, before we go in, thank you for doing the pre-work. I have a few uh, good submissions right? I want to highlight. Uh, here, Jung. Are you Jung Manushin, right? Yeah, Manushin. So it sounds like Manushin. As you can see, Jung add a few personalized touches. Quite nice. Uh, the image uh, is a little stretch, right? So, uh, but you know, the it's cool, the content. Uh, so, I thought this is uh, pretty neat. And these guys complete all the features. So, required, optional. The reason we do optional is because some of you are pretty good. So, if you only spend three hours doing required, then do optional. If you spend thirty hours doing required, that's okay, right? Take time, be patient. So that's cool. Uh, Loi is the next one. Oh man, your GIF is so big. Uh, I started to record the shorter one. But also very nice with some effects. Uh, if you're patient enough, you watch this GIF without falling asleep. It's, it's like a few minutes long, but you know, there's some nice effect. Uh, fading their animation. You know all about uh, web or iOS or mobile apps or web apps. It's important to provide a good experience, right? Like good feel, UI. UX is important. So if you pay attention to that, you get extra points. Next, uh, that's, so that's Lori, by the way. Uh, and here's uh, here, where, hi. Uh, here, another good submission, it's quite minimal, uh, but I thought it's great, you know, so you see the tag uh, right here, and then um, I think you support the comments as well, right? Yeah, so there's a comment, username, and then uh, I don't see it here. Wait, it's, I think the GIF is acting weird. Uh, so, who is, uh, this is a very good comment that I know it's cool. You're here, right? Okay, great, this one is great too. You know, the tags using bootstrap styling. Thought it's a great job. Things look pretty neat. 
I think the back button here, you could put it in the layout, it doesn't look like it's a little off. Okay, good. That's pretty good. And, you know, there's more submissions, obviously, and uh, you guys are among the, uh, you guys are 19 best submissions that we feel like, okay, this person is less likely to be kicked out of class. The reason why we do it for free is because we can just kick you out and say, hey, sorry, don't come to class. So, uh, because, you know, we only believe those who put in the effort can do it. You know, those who have feedback uh, and work on the feedback can do it. So, uh, yes, first time in Hanoi, I'm Harley. Uh, I've wrote my introduction on Facebook groups. For those of you who haven't done that, please go to uh, the, the group and introduce yourself later. Um, some good reads so far, really like what people share up there. So, we also have teaching assistant. This is June? Yeah, yeah. And June took my uh, um, class a long time ago. Uh, May, April? Yeah, so that's uh, earlier this year. And then he's running his own startup now, funded, uh, accepted by, by Vietnam Silicon Valley uh, Accelerator. And he has a whole team uh, there as well. But he is making, you know, I'm like, do you have time? You know, yeah, as a I know boss, right? uh, Yeah, as a founder, sometimes you think you have time, but let's see, right? Yeah. Uh, his job is, together with me, when you guys are stuck, uh, we will help you solve problems, answer your questions. More often than not, your friends will help you with questions as well. So we don't have to do anything, just, you know, just create that environment, you help each other. Mai is another uh, alumni, right? Alumni means people who graduated from go to school class, same class with, uh, with uh, June, and she's in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, so she just helped where uh, she can. Now, um, here's the structure. This is the most important slide. Great, we have more people. Also, they should... Come on in! Are you here for um, uh, Hack Reactor? Oh, no. Yeah, making shit up. Yes, go to school, right? Go to school class. Give yourself some chairs. It's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. As long as you don't make them again, strike one. One, two, three. Great. I think we have there. Uh, there are more chairs outside. You all have chairs? Okay. 19. All right. Damn. Good. All right. So you're here in time for the most important uh, slide. This is a class structure. And this is the formula for our success. Two hours on Sunday, like today. So I hope it's okay. You guys might have to go to, uh, I don't know, um, Kappa or some, 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 some other uh, places nearby. Is it nearby? Halong Bay or something. But come by, you know, for class. Now, hopefully it doesn't clash with anyone. Look through your schedule. Make sure you can make it for class. So I fly to Hanoi on Sunday and I teach these and I fly back to Virginia City on Wednesday. So we do have also weekly uh, tutorial session that's usually on Saturday. But I don't know how it works yet. Chris told me when this guy is here. Uh, maybe we can do it here. Uh, maybe I'll come earlier. Uh, all right. Now, you all can go to learning.codeschool.vn. That's where the course materials are. And we will uh, have weekly homework. This is important. Homework, do it, and submit it on time. This is our commitment. The only difference between you coming to class here and then someone out there learning on their own is that here is the commitment. Right? We're in a class, and we all agree that we're going to put in some work. Now, we only have three homework, week one, two, three. Week four, we start assigning you into groups. I may give you week four homework if you're really good. But week four to week eight is when week five, you actually have a team. We bring in mentors. Say, I haven't found any mentors here. So if you know anyone good, anyone good about UI, UX, some people that can help you start building your project, final project. This is in teams of three. So between week one and four, you have to learn to know each other, right? We all should know each other very well, so you can uh, 
form groups. You don't want to find be in the same group as someone that you hate. Okay? Now or maybe you, you want you want to put in 20 hours a week, 40 hours a week, you want to work with some other people who are just as hard working. Some other groups they want to spend less time. Keep that in mind. Final day one day, uh, I need you all to, to be ready by week eight, but in the lab session, we do a demo day. So all teams who have peer, uh, probably six teams, hopefully, maybe only, we only have five, because some people will be kicked out, because you're late on homework, or you skip class without telling us, but we aim to get the best you know, projects. Uh, when you do the final demo day, that gives you the chance to practice, rehearse, and then a public demo day. So public demo day, maybe if all projects are good, then we will organize something that we present in front of 300 people. Okay? And a lot of them are engineers, and it's fun. And if you win, you, you know you get a thousand dollars cash prize. It's the same thing, but I have to um, to repeat here: homework, right? Do it on time. Anyone has problem with the homework doing on? Being due on, 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 on Saturday, 6 p.m. Uh, so that you can go out with your girlfriend. <laughs> if your girlfriend starts hating you from week two, then I might have a problem with week seven. You might go missing. Any other question? So um, we have class on Saturday, 7 p.m. No, Sunday, 7 p.m. If you submit now uh, on Saturday, p.m., 6 p.m., we have some time to review the best submissions when you go to class and say, here are the best submissions. Also, this is the kind of homework that you should not do last minute. I know, you, you know we all remember university and all that. When we are adults, we have to start early and we all cheat. Do a little bit, get stuck, ask questions, go, you know, go drink beer with friends. Don't just spend your know, whole day on, on it. Figure out how to be smart. Ask questions, but you have to you know, give the right information for people to help you. Hey, here's my code. Hey, here's my screenshot. Hey, I got stuck here, right? Here is the environment where you learn and you can ask questions without going to Stack Overflow and then just refresh and see if someone commented on the Stack Overflow post. So this is better, right? Focus learning. So be on time for class. This is obvious. We only have two hours. I fly here to talk for two hours, so at least I hope you respect my time. And of course, I will talk for two hours. We come here and we uh, we all settle down. I know the traffic is bad, but that's why it starts at 7 p.m., not 6. Any problem with that, let me know. Send me a message, email me, or anything. Hey, I'm going to be late. Let me know. But if you don't come to class and don't ask, so your friend already, that's not very good. You should ask me, right? Here is communication. If you work in a big organization, in a team, you always want to communicate. Hey, you know, I cannot make it today. Anything I can do, blah, blah, blah. So now, however, we know something may happen. It's serious, right? So we say you can have two excuses to ask. If you don't, Come to class today and say, oh, that's one. And that's another one is two. And that's it. If you miss it again, like, dude, I don't believe you can sit at home, watch my videos, and follow the class. That's boring. Here is not boring when I talk because you look at other pretty faces. Sorry, we don't have any girls in this class. But still, let's pretend we are pretty, all right? Then be honest. Code is all over the internet. You can search. You can find excellent submissions of other Ruby classes. Honestly, you don't have to, but if you really have to search for someone else's solution, if you copy some code, make sure you understand it, and also say, source, I use it here. Intellectual honesty, that help us learn fast. Ultimately, it's not about who is smarter, higher IQ, that you know, can solve more difficult problem. It's more like who can get the solution, no matter if like, you can ask for help here and here. Get it done on time and present it. Okay, so cheat however you want. Study groups, copy each other's code, but make sure you explain it. Be honest. Ultimately, sometimes your project success doesn't depend on 
how smart you are, and like you can solve these algorithms, you run it faster, your site is faster than the other. No, it's about do you understand the user needs? Do you understand? Do you have a good story behind it? Do you present your project well? This is why some of the uh, classes in Ho Chi Minh City, the groups, the team with girls tend to win. Because different personality, right? Diversity, it's good. All three guys who are like rock star coders sit together, uh, like you do this one. They don't care about each other. But when the team feel like we are not very strong guys, but we can help together, my work plus your work plus your work, just a team of three, it's a lot bigger than this sum, right? The whole is bigger than the sum of its parts. So understand that. When you two work together, it has to be more than 2x of your work. Okay, so but be honest, so we can all get help accordingly. If you break any of the rules, we make it go out. There will be situation in the past, someone say, my, my father is really sick, I have to miss class again, but in occasion, like you know, I meet with the person to give that person a lecture. I make, or maybe uh, that's early. Or uh, nowadays, there are a lot of my lecture videos online, and so if you watch it, right? So there are maybe exception I can make, but I can also not make any exception. So we would check then if you come to class on Sunday and you didn't submit any homework. I would be like. Go get your bike. All right. How to get help? Uh, let me explain. Okay. So, uh, what? If you have a homework question, where do you ask question? Okay. Good. Now, if you do that and you stuck for more than half an hour, what do you recommend him? Okay, good. So the rule is, if you stop, you spend more than half an hour. Oh, I'm in a class. I'm like not studying by myself. I'm going to ask a question. So try to keep that in mind, right? If you stop for more than half an hour, go and ask. But then where do you ask? So we create the Facebook group. It's good social interaction. We post pictures there. They stay. Uh, some announcement there. They stay, right? But it's not a good place to ask questions. Why? Why not? You disturb people. Okay, some notification you may disturb people. What else? It's easy to get started. Okay, distract them. No coding. No coding formatting. Okay, anything else? Okay, so Facebook groups, when you post there, it can be noisy, it looks ugly, it sends someone a notification, it's like, what is it? Right? It's also a place where you feel shy to ask. If you ask a stupid question, it's always there, right? To say, oh, I don't want to ask a stupid question. What if Harley pinned this question and then everyone go to this Facebook group? It's like, hi, my computer, is, it's black. Did you turn it on? Oh yeah, thank you. And then we all like it and then we just like screenshot it and this person is doomed. Well, you can ask a stupid question on Slack group. So our Slack channel is for that. It goes up. Don't worry about it, right? It's less judgment. Okay? So, depends. Sometimes you have some nice things to share. You put on Facebook, hey, this blog is awesome. This book is awesome. Oh, I have this PDF. You know, this is nice. Read it. You put it here. You put it on Slack, it's gone. Right? Sure. You know, during class right now, when I ask, maybe I ask this again. If you're not sure, you can feel free to ask questions. Okay? And Ruby is like, this is the best thing to send. Ask for permission. Hey, can I skip class? Okay? Right. So, tips. Start homework early. Homework's not too bad, but you, the instructions get out of date sometimes, and hopefully we don't make too many, too, too many mistakes. Start early after today. You can start your homework, and then you know you might run into some problems. Uh, I will update that. Report the issues. Don't assume anything, right? I might make mistake. Start early. By Saturday, you're like, oh, now I can go out and have a good.
the time because I'm not rushing anymore. Start early so you can ask questions and get help. Breath first approach, who knows what it means? Breath. So for example, I'm talking to you now. If I want to get to know all of you, my breath first approach is I only ask you one question. Go, let's go, let's go. Then I talk to everyone. That's breath. A depth first approach, I would say, hey, uh, what's your name? Who are your parents? Uh, you know, what's your favorite languages? What's your hobby? Where's your girlfriend? You have one girlfriend, two girlfriends, three girlfriends. I know a lot about this guy, but by the time I get to know everyone else, it's too late. There's no more time. So same thing, if you build a feature, like my search feature, and then it has to run fast, I'm gonna you know, install this to do this to this. Hey, that's one feature. Finish all their small ones first, yeah? So that's best first. Feel free to work together, online, offline. Tutorial session for that. Maybe I can try to fly to here early. I don't know yet. It's, just, it's kind of difficult to see. And uh, you know, if you find that, hey, there's a problem here, you know, feel free to screenshot, point out the problems with the website, our learning website, and then you know, share it. Hey, if you run into this problem, like the tether jam, right? It's so stupid, right? A lot of people run into that problem. You deploy to Heroku, your JavaScript doesn't work, and you can say, hey guys, like I figured that out. A lot of people run into the same problems. Or no routes when you go to Heroku URL, because hey, I ran into that problem before, you didn't declare the route. Great, do the optional. You have time, do it. That's how you learn, all right? But some optional is too crazy, so it's really up to you. The option, don't feel bad if you don't finish all the optional. Some optional is just, you know, you have like five years of Rails experience, maybe you can do that. That's okay. All right. Before we start Rails thing, does that make sense about the class? Okay. Next, I need to take attendance. Uh, so I'm going to send. It's more. It's not really taking attendance. This is going to take a while. I am going to get to know you. Can everyone go and join the lecture? It's called, oh my god, so it's called Hanoi, go and join this channel on Slack, can you, can you? Can you see it? Click on channels, 